What's up everyone, this is FP6 bringing you some more Go Battle League battles here in the Ultra League. Gonna be doing some live battles today and um, hopefully you can hear the background music and the sound effects here. I'm trying uh, the Brandon Tan uh, setup here with the headphones in and the game volume on. Hopefully my screen recording will um, record the, the music and the sound effects here. Um, let me know what kind of videos you guys really like seeing from my channel. I try to mix it up with doing some live battle videos like this, um, some live battle videos with my wife Katie like you've seen, a lot of people really enjoy those, as well as some videos where I'm just talking over the gameplay and I'm actually able to kind of think about the strategies and talk to you a little bit more in-depthly about what's going on, but let me know. I really like doing these um, live battle videos because they're a lot easier for me to edit, but... Um, yeah, let me know what you guys like. Rolling with this team of Giratina Altered, Swampert, and um, and Alolan Muck. I am running Shadow Sneak on my Giratina. So let's kind of see how this matchup compares to um, Melmetal now. So this is definitely going to be a rock slide. I'm running Shadow Sneak now that... Um, now that Ancient Power got such a nerf to its damage, you can't consistently um, hit that for strong damage anymore, and it's very reliant on the boost, which I don't really like playing like that. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Man, this Gyarados is like shredding me. But the thing is, I I want my Swampert in the back to be matched up against this Melmetal, so I think I'm just going to stay in here and play this out. That Dragon Breath is really chunking away. Okay, they're going to get to a crunch here. I know they still have the Mel Metal in the back. So I'm just going to let this Giratina go down. I can bring in my own Alolan Muck. And hopefully this Gyarados is in Dark Pulse range. I really don't want to get hit by a charge move at all, so I'm not over farming. I'm just gonna get this out there. They might have their own swamp. Oh, I get a shield. That's very interesting. They might be trying to go for outrage or hydro pump. I doubt this is a hydro pump. It takes a long time to get to. Is this outrage? Whoa, that is hydro pump. Holy crap! Lagging a little bit. I cannot commit to snarling down this Gyarados. The um, the Dragon Breath damage is just way too insane. All right, they let the Gyarados go go down. Out comes the Mel Metal. I'm wondering what could they have in the back. They might have their own Giratina. I'm gonna bring out my Swampert right now. Probably gonna get hit by a Superpower. But that is okay, Superpower is probably going to do like 40% damage here. And then Melmetal is going to dip out. Do they have their own Swampert in the back? I do have a significant... Oh man, okay. So this is where, because I'm not running Earthquake, this is a little bit more um, rough for me here. Can I try to bait? Okay, they're just going to throw this right now. Man, my Alolan Muck is so low in health right now. I have to just let this... I have to just let this Swampert go down. I don't think... Yeah, they still have a shield. I doubt I'm getting a shield here. They can just, um, drag and breath down my Alolan Muck, and I think they very confidently have this game. Yep. They are rolling with that Dragon Breath Giratina. Gonna be a Dragon Claw, probably. Yep. But the Dragon Breath damage is so insane here. They're definitely gonna be able to take this game here. That Gyarados is pretty interesting. Gyarados is definitely an interesting pick for Ultra League. That Dragon Breath damage is really nice, and you also have access to Crunch and Hydro Pump. Um, Crunch is gonna be hitting Giratina for super effective, and that Hydro Pump nuke. Uh, just hits for so much damage on pretty much everything it hits neutral on. Alright, lost the first game, but that is alright. I don't expect to go 
crazy positive when I play Ultra League anyways. Oh, we're going up against another rank 10 yellow boy. Kind of fun with the music and the sound effects going. I might battle like this more frequently. Okay. Uh, because I am not running Ancient Power, this is not as favorable matchup for me. But I imagine it still should be favorable. I might need to relook into the simulations on this matchup here. Because I am going to be able to beat the Gyarados to its charge move over and over and over again. But I do have to shield this up. Because Crunch is going to do a lot more damage to me than my Dragon Claws are doing to this Gyarados. What's the deal? We run into two people running Gyarados this morning? That's kind of crazy. Okay, I get a shield. Can I get to this next Dragon Claw before that next Crunch comes through? I'm able to do it. I don't think they're over farming either. I get the second shield. Wow. At this point, all I... Okay, I'm going to commit my second shield, because I think I win this out, just based on how much damage is being dealt, unless they try to make a sacrificial swap. So that's definitely possible, but um, it looks like they're staying in here. Is this Dragon Claw enough to take this thing out? Let's see. Yes, okay, we win the opening matchup, but whatever it comes in is going to be able to farm me down. Oh, Articuno. Um, okay, I'm gonna bring in Swampert, because I really want to get to this Hydro Cannon before they can get to the Icy Wind. That doesn't even happen. That was a fail. Hmm, I know I can get to the second Hydro Cannon before they can get to the Icy Wind. So maybe I'll get two Hydro Cannons off and then get out of here. I don't know. This is a tough position to be in. Should be able to get to the second Hydro Cannon. Do you think there's a Swampert in the back? Do you think they would run Gyarados and Swampert? Two water types? Could be a Giratina in the back. That would be really good for me. Really? Okay. I was doing a bad job of counting their moves right now, so I'm not sure how much energy they're at. I'm oh, wow. Okay, they're definitely... They're definitely out of energy now. Three, four... I really hope they didn't make a sacrificial swap, but you never know with this new animation. This should be just enough to take out the... Yes. What is in the back? If it's a swap burn, I'm screwed. Typhlosion is very interesting. I'm gonna get hit by a blast burn. This is where having... Oh man, this is where having Gunk Shot would be really great. Oh man, I probably should have just double Dark Pulse here. For four of my Snarls, he gets six Shadow Claws in. Oh boy, this is going to be very close. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. No! Oh man! Should have double Dark Pulsed. Should have double Dark Pulse. If I would have had Gunk Shot, I would have been able to take this. Dang it! That is alright. I think it took seven Shadow Claws to get to the first Blast Burn, and then the second one took six, so... Dang it, big misplay on my part. Should have went double Dark Pulse there. That's alright. Let's go into another game here. Going up against Ofu Jin. Go Battle League is rough, man. You never know what they have in the back. Okay. In theory, this is a favorable lead for me, as long as I can avoid the Earthquake. Four, five... They switch out? Very interesting. This Alolan Muck has gotten four Snarls worth now. Five... I'm going to let the first move come through. Two Dark Pulses is going to be enough to take me out. I'm not going to over farm in this matchup at all. 
Okay, they let that go through. Oh man, it was even a CMP tie right there. And this is going to be enough to take me out. I have to shield this up. They should be out of energy now. One, two, three. Going to play it safe there. I did not see them get that fourth snarl through, so I don't think they're quite out of Dark Pulse. Okay, they let it go. What's going to come out? Their own Swampert, probably? Whoa! Please let this Sludge Wave go through. Oh my gosh, please. Please. This would be amazing. Please. Yes! Yes! Freaking yes, dude. That is what we need to see. <laughs> Woo! Oh! Okay, so Sceptile is one of the Pokemon that just got that Bullet Seed. Um, well, the move Bullet Seed changed, so now it has amazing energy generation for... Um, for a grass type move, it's pretty much a snarl clone. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. The surprise sludge wave from Swampert finally does something good there. Wow. <laughs> oh, what is the deal with all these Gyarados, man? I have not seen a single Gyarados today, and then I turn on the camera. And I still don't really know the best way to play this out, because I don't have... Honestly, this is kind of my best response to Gyarados. I think in even... Okay, they commit a shield right off the bat. We see MP tie here. This is obviously going to be a crunch or maybe an outrage. That'd be insane. Okay, it's just a crunch. Going to throw another Dragon Claw here. Man, I got this background music hyping me up, man. Double shields. What? Does Gyarados win this in the double shield scenario? Oh, man. Didn't we just play this out earlier? The two shield scenario? I think Giratina still wins. So I'm just... I'm gonna commit two shields. They might try to switch out here. This Dragon Breath is really chunking me down. Oh my gosh, it's going to be close. Oh my gosh, I survived with like 1 HP. This Gyarados must have like an attack break point on that Dragon Breath damage, because that is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, I'm barely able to win that out. But this is, this is okay, because whatever comes in isn't able to farm up a whole lot of energy. Weak connection. What comes out? Registeel. I'm able to get a last second Dragon Claw off here. I do have Swampert. Oh man, this thing is probably going to commit to farming me down, but I can't risk giving up Switch Advantage. I know I'm going to get hit with a Focus Blast. Huh. Okay, I have to over farm here. He does not know that I don't have Earthquake. Focus Blast is gonna hit me here. Do they have their own Swampert in the back? I don't know. They have Giratina. Okay, I think I have two Hydro Cannons worth. And that Registeel pretty much is out of energy. It would be great if I could leave this matchup with some residual energy, but we will have to see. It's going to take two Dark Pulses to take out this Giratina. If I have like one Snarl's worth of energy leaving this, that'd be great, but man, this is getting risky here. I think I can do it. I think I can do it here. Um, okay, I'm going to eat the next charge move, whatever it is. Maybe get... Even if they switch out, this is totally fine for me. Okay, gonna throw it now. His switch clock is almost up. Please tell me that they did not switch out. Are you still in with me? Yes, you are. Now, this Registeel has got to throw its energy here. Mm. Actually, I don't want this thing getting into a Focus Blast. I'm gonna throw this... Dark Pulse, and then double Hydro Cannon. 
Assuming that it was at zero energy after it threw that focus blast, it should be able to beat it to the second hydro cannon. Please, yes! Yes, that's what you like to see right there. So winning that lead scenario was very important for me. And against that particular Gyarados, it came down to the wire. Like, one HP left on that uh, Giratina. That was insane. Alright. I think we're 2-2. Two and two. Got this cool music going on. This is super fun, man. I'm definitely going to do my live com commentaries like this. It is going to make the video file a lot bigger because I think uh, the screen recording should hopefully be saving the audio right now. Otherwise, this was just a total fail and I'm wearing these headphones for no reason. <laughs> okay, we have a good lead. We know that our lowland muck in the back needs to avoid the swamper. Two, three. Okay, there's the switch out again into Registeel. Really good for us. This Registeel is still going to hit us with a flash cannon. Or a focus blast, excuse me, sorry. So I have to shield this up. Even against Registeel's biggest counters, Focus Blast still hurts. I am over farming here a lot. When that Swampert comes out, I want to have a Hydro Cannon I can still threaten it with. And I know it got a jump start on its energy. Registeel is a very good um, safe switch. Because the only thing that absolutely hard counters it is, um, is Charizard. Okay, this is going to be a Focus Blast. Right? There's no point in throwing Flash Cannon here. One, two, three, four, five. I cannot get too greedy. He was about to throw a Flash Cannon. Okay. Oh! Oh, he did shield that. Wow. Okay, this is okay, because now I can farm this down. Is their own Swampert going to come out? What's going to happen here? I'm expecting their own Swampert to come out, so... Yes, it is their own Swampert. Going to be able to put on a lot of Hydro Cannon pressure here, because I overfarm. They let it go through. Yes! Able to get to a second one. This is really good. Hmm. I get a shield. The Swampert cannot commit to farming me down that much. Yeah, I was about to get to another Hydro Cannon there. He is pretty heavily over-farmed. Probably very close to an Earthquake. Let's hope that there's a Giratina in the back. Let's just hope. And honestly... Mm, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to two Dragon Claws before this Swampert nukes me with an Earthquake. I just need this Swampert gone. This is going to be the Earthquake. It's okay. They should be completely out of energy once this thing goes through. And then we'll see what's in the back. It is an Alolan Muck. Oh, man. Hmm. That was kind of a stupid move. This is probably good. Oh man, are they running Gunk Shot? This would not be super great for me. Sludge Wave, okay. Swampert's out of energy. Hmm. I need to leave this matchup with a, um, a Dark Pulse stored up. gonna be sludge wave again but I, I lost track of their energy I don't know if they've been over farming this whole time one two three don't play risky please tell me this dark pulse is enough to take it out oh man I don't know if it is this might have been really bad on my part it's barely enough let's go I need this dark pulse really bad please able to get it yes because I over farmed Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah! Anytime we can go positive in a live commentary, I am happy. Because this is difficult, man, trying to talk and and play through this stuff. I really hope that 
the screen recording recorded these sounds. Otherwise, I just wore these headphones for no reason. <laughs> Yo, I'm in a rare candy shortage. Can we get some more rare candy from these bundles? Oh, we're at 2,900 again. I am one of those classic rank 10 scrubs that right when he hit rank 10, I tried out a bunch of different teams and then dropped my rating pretty significantly. But this was super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. If you want to support the channel and be on my friends list and train with me, head on over to my Patreon. The link will be down in the description. Make sure you let me know what kind of videos do you guys like to see. Do you like to see these live battles like this? For me personally, I am always interested in getting inside the mind of other battlers, and so that's where live battles, where I'm kind of talking through my strats, um, I, I personally would be a big fan of those, but let me know. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.